The Andaman Sea of Southern Thailand. I'm going to meet the Thai Sea Gypsies, known as the Chaole people. They dive up to 40 meters deep using improvised air compressors to maintain their underwater fishing cages in pursuit of one of the most poisonous fish on the planet. A puffer fish, known as the porcupine fish, whose digestive organs produce a lethal toxin a thousand times more poisonous than cyanide. My name is Rafael Treza, and I'm going to taste a potentially deadly Asian delicacy. Maybe it's worth the risk. I'm in Koh Lanta, an island in southern Thailand, on the Indian Ocean. It's about 20 kilometers long and covered with jungle, lined with long beaches. About 15,000 inhabitants live here, mostly Muslim and Buddhist. They work in tourism, fishing and rubber tree farming. Koh Lanta is a base to around 400 settled Chaole, which means people of the sea. These native peoples rely almost solely on the ocean to sustain their unique lifestyle. They are thought to be the very first inhabitants of the Andaman coast of Thailand, Myanmar and Malaysia. Today, only a few thousand of them remain and only a small number still live the traditional nomadic life. In the 1970s, the Thai authorities pushed hard to convert them to Buddhism and Thai language, and in return, gave them access to education and healthcare. The Chaole used submerged cages to trap fish, They also cast weighted nets to catch smaller fish. Check in a big fit, like the eat small fish and come here. He in the net. The fish are then dried and kept, or sold to a local wholesaler. If you're looking for fresh fish, check for black eyes and red gills. Big one? Small one? On the boat. On the boat. Far, far. Oh. Okay, 
ada si tak lengkapnya si tak lengkap kan. Wei dah kut pot si nyimsi. Tomorrow I'm going fishing with the Chaole. But today I'm drinking a blue tea with Man, who will be my translator. I'm also joining some locals for some honey hunting on the beach. In the morning, we leave with a team of four sea gypsies to collect bounty from their cages. I'm with Man, my translator. Banguan, the most experienced diver, is 56. He has been hookah diving since he was 16. He regularly dives to depths of 40 meters for up to an hour, using an old improvised compressor cobbled together with a rubber hose. The boat driver has to continually maintain his position among the currents. Fishing with cages keeps the fish alive for the whole and allows protected species to be released. Banguan detaches the cage and the team pulls it up. The Chaole caught several of the prized porcupine fish. There's also plastic, even at 40 meters deep. The porcupine fish, or Diadon istrix, is a puffer fish. It can dramatically inflate its body by swallowing water into its stomach. Its digestive organs contain a toxin a thousand times more deadly than cyanide, which paralyzes the respiratory system and causes asphyxia. And there is no known antidote. We sail to another location to place the cage back onto the ocean bed. To find the cage again, fishermen memorize the location's visual alignment with the nearby islands and mountains. Thank you. 
National Park Rangers approach to ensure that the Chaole aren't planning to fish in protected waters. We are cleared. You know how to cook pepper fish? Uh, yeah, you know. You can buy this fish in the market. Only for Chile people. They, they never sell, they eat. This fish is very dangerous. I should tell you, the poison contained in one fish can kill 30 people. They have accident with this fish before? We have all learned the danger of this fish when we were children. So, we know exactly how to avoid the toxic parts. Is it in Boulon, Boulon Island, is uh, six, seven people die from this fish. This fish is especially good. Ask him if he likes to eat it. Yes, we love it. It's delicious. We cook it in many different ways. So, you see sharks sometimes? Near this island, there are really big ones. Sometimes I see tiger sharks as big as my boat. And he's not afraid of sharks? Not anymore. I see sharks often, but we never get attacked. The big ones are not really aggressive. We get more nervous about the smaller ones. The worst injury I've had is being stung by a red lionfish. I had to stay in the hospital for four months the first time it happened, and for two months the second time. Uh, it doesn't have problem with decompression? I've often had issues with my air supply. Sometimes I dive too deep or the compressor engine fails. I've nearly died many times. Sometimes I return to the surface and I've got cramps. The pain starts in my legs, then arms, all the way up to my mouth. The weather is changing for the worse, so we decide to return to shore. There's poison here? Yes. Banguan is now removing the toxic internal organs, seemingly without taking any detailed precautions. We are invited for a taste of porcupine fish at Banguan's house. His wife is preparing it. She's making curry with lemongrass. And they take it directly from the yeah, balcony. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Aroi. Very good. The texture of this fish is delicate and it marries with the lemongrass. <laughs> 